afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're doing well. Look at this. This is a piece of concrete from the Hoover Dam. Isn't that amazing? Look how gorgeous that aggregate. Look how big that aggregate is. Hoover Dam concrete. So cool. Anyway, okay. So, uh, Q&A day. Got an awesome question from David, D-E-C-Y-3. David! David, thank you again for a wonderful question. Very interested in concrete vessel making. Is it possible that we could draw on standards from other industries such as paints and coatings or water and wastewater utilities? And David, great question. Uh, there are a lot of concrete wine vessels out there, and I'm, I'm not a... I, I'm not a fan of uh, a lot of them, you know, there's, there's, and I'm trying to be nice about it, but I, I just haven't met a concrete wine vessel that I like. And the reason why I say that, and I, I could be swayed, I, I don't mind being wrong, my wife will tell you, I've been wrong many times in the past, uh, but my problem is, is the very, you know, answering the very question that you asked, I wrote a whole article about it, link is down below, swing! There are no standards for making concrete wine vessels for wine yet. I mean, may maybe there are, but they're not publicized. I did a lot of research into this, and after going to uh, uh, one of these vessel makers, and I I've also seen, I've only been to one place where they're precasting them. Uh, other, you know, uh, vessels I've looked into, but I haven't been to the facility. So um, there weren't any standards used that, you know, in my opinion, we're really looking out for the better interest of the end consumer of that wine. Because when it comes down to it, wine is a very caustic material, especially for hardened concrete. You know, people say that, you know, the concrete gives you the true mineral, mineral flavor of the grape, and you're kind of tasting some of that concrete there if you don't have a food grade coating on the inside. And yeah, you can, you can take from NSN, NSF 61, which is the water, you know, standards, you know, for concrete, but that's water, man. It's not, it's not wine. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I like the idea of it, but I just haven't met a wine vessel that I, I truly like. And, you know, they put the food grade epoxies in their coatings. I mean, that's great. I mean, you're doing a great job, but then you're not truly a concrete wine vessel. I mean, you're just using the mass. And I thought there was some type of uh, drive to go after the concrete itself. So I, I, I would like to see, and, and the difficulty is, is that you do need some chemicals, you do need some fibers to, um, you know, reduce the impact of the restraint that that concrete precast structural element is going to respond to. So there's going to be some restraints built up just because of the volume change of that fluid concrete to a hardened concrete, then you have the restraint from the actual shape of it, so you would expect some cracking. And then there's also a certain thickness to it. You want it to have a certain lightness with a certain strength. Da, 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 da. So you got to use chemicals um, as well as some fibers too. So the concern is are we designing something that is really good for the end consumer to drink? Because if you're not coating it, there is a great, there is a very good chance, a very good probability that you're drinking some of that concrete and some of those materials that were in that concrete. So yeah, you could pull off those industries, but it's almost like 3D printing. This is something that we have to start from the beginning and develop an association and really get into it. And uh, if you're going to do that, you could do it the right way. You could do it the wrong way. I think the right way is going to cost you a lot more money just because there's a lot of work that needs to be done on are we doing this the right and safe way. So, yeah. So hopefully that answers your questions. Thanks a bunch again, David. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell for notifications. Go Concrete! Free Asphalt! Oh.